So we'd like to get in the CW contest, but maybe you don't know how to uh, send and receive code, or maybe the code is too fast, like for me, most of it's up to 30 words a minute or maybe 35 words a minute, and I'm, I can't copy that fast. So what do you do? Thank goodness the FTDX10 has a decoder plus you can send CW or Morse code through the macros. So let's go on over there and let me just show you the radio. Thanks so much for watching. If you give me a thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot. So let's uh, go on over there. I'm hearing a LU8VE. And what I do is I make sure this is see the three little dots. It's right on the red dot in the center, or it's, uh, anyway, that's where it is. What you can do for receiving is you have a CW speed right here. And if you slow it down, whoops, sorry about that. See, so you can adjust your speed by turning the function knob. And so that's pretty close. Sometimes you have to slow it down or speed it up depending on what your your uh, speed is. Now, over here, I'm gonna hit message. And what I did on CW, I, I pushed the memory button push the one and it gives my call sign here wb5 ybz now i'm going to hit back now i'm using a 599 oklahoma so it's a memory number three and it has to be flashing them so i have 599 which is 5nn oklahoma now i'm going to try to talk to him um trying to call him And he's given numbers for the for that. So So I'm going to put 632 in my log. If you could give me a thumbs up, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.